and welcome. It's Kendra for TLC Designs. And today I'm excited to share three different cards I made using the three angel stamp sets from the October new release. These are called the Gift of Joy, the Gift of Peace, and the Gift of Love. And since it's October and it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I wanted these cards to be pink. So I used the Ink Me in Pink digital paper pack. Let me show you the different patterns that come in this six by six paper pad. The first print had an argyle pattern on it with leaves. There's one that says we are stronger together. There's some pink brush patterns, of stripes. There's flowers, a tiny leaf pattern. And um, then this one has some leaves on it. And then this last one has hope written out with ribbons and butterflies with a watercolor background. And I pulled out some matching cardstock and pink glitter paper from my stash that I'll also be using to make these cards along with these dies that you see here. This is called the Daisy Frame Die, the Tiny Oval Die, and the Scalloped Rectangle Garden Die Set. I picked out three sketches from my quarterly card challenge number four to use to create these cards. These sketches work well with the dies that I have picked out, and these are card sketches 1, 10, and 12. I'll place a link to the free PDF file where you can download these sketches in the description box below. Now, TLC Designs is one of the sponsors for this challenge where you can enter to win a $50 gift certificate to the store. So if you're not familiar with the challenge, be sure to check it out. It's a lot of fun. So I went ahead and cut the paper to the measurements on the card sketches off camera. And now I'm using the pink glitter paper to cut the mats for those pattern paper pieces for sketches 10 and 12. And then next I took and cut the tan paper for the four by five and a quarter inch layer that goes with sketch number 10. And the pattern paper that is for card sketch number 12, that's gonna go directly on the card base. So I like cutting all of my paper and getting everything ready first. And then I kind of build the card and place the images on later. Okay, so let's start with card sketch number one. I'm using a sheet of pink heavyweight cardstock for my card base. And I cut this in half to create a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I scored it at four and a quarter inches and then placed the edges of this into my scoreboard to make sure that it lines up. Now, even though the card sketch doesn't show another layer on top of the card base, I wanted to add a white layer so that I could emboss it with a pattern that matches the argyle pattern on one of the paper strips. And because I now have this layer, I had to trim down my strips, I had to trim a quarter inch off of those strips. So this embossing folder that I have this argyle pattern on, I went ahead and ran that through my machine to emboss that white layer. And here it is, and I think that is really pretty and it matches this perfectly. So now let's switch over to the angel images that I'll be using on each of the cards here. I have the gift of peace on top here, and I'll be cutting her out using the smallest die from the scalloped rectangle garden set. And the second angel is the gift of love, and I'll be using the next to the smallest shape from the daisy frame die set to cut her out. And then for the gift of joy angel at the bottom, I'm using the smaller, smaller oval die from the tiny vine oval die set. And I've cut all of these out with my die cutting machine off camera, and I'll be using the gift of love here for sketch number one. Now to make this stand out a little more, I use the next size die from the daisy set to cut another layer out of some pink glitter paper. And I colored all three of those angel images off camera using some Copic markers and I'll list the colors that I used in the description box below. So now I'm just going to assemble this card and glue everything down using some liquid adhesive. Now, um, whenever you're gluing down embossing or panels that are embossed, you want to make sure that you have enough glue because some of those parts are raised and it won't actually touch. So make sure you add enough glue there. Now this second strip here, apparently I didn't trim this to the right size. So I had to snip the end off with my scissors. And of course, wipe the glue off before it dries. Now 
For the embellishment in the bottom right hand corner, I cut out a scalloped heart out of the same glitter paper and then I attached it with an adhesive 3D dot. Next, I added some clear wink of Stella to add some glitter to the angel's wings. And then I wanted to add some shine to the angel's face, so I used some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew to add a little bit to her eyes. This dries clear, but it will just add a little bit of shine. And then to finish off this card, I added a rose pink enamel heart to the banner, and this finishes off card number one. Now for card number two, using Sketch 10, I'm using a white top folding card base. So here I'm scoring it at five and a half inches. And then again, lining up the edges in my scoreboard and then burnishing down the edge to make sure they line up. Now this embossing folder that I have here has stripes with dots on it, similar to the pattern that's in the paper. So I emboss the tan layer and then for the angel cutout that I used, the Gift of Joy, I cut this out with that smaller oval die. Um, but I thought that the bigger die was too big and it would cover up most of the pattern paper. So I decided not to use it. Instead, I decided to add a pop of color behind the holes on the smaller die. But I didn't have big enough scraps on the glitter paper to do that. So I just cut it out of some regular pink cardstock. Now I did use the vine die to cut out some glitter vines and um, I'm just using the piece that's gonna be hidden behind that pattern paper. So here I'm just tracing the die with a pencil and then I'm just gonna cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so that the pink color will show through those holes. I also cut out some little tiny white flowers with that little um, flower die that also comes in that set. So now I'm gonna assemble the card. Again, I added clear wink of Stella to the wings and some morning dew Nouveau drops to the eyes and to the horn. And then I added some iridescent rhinestones to the center of the flowers. And this finishes off card number two. Now this last card I did share already as a sneak peek during the October new release Instagram hop that started on October 15th. So if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. You can hop along and enter to win a gift certificate to the TLC Designs online store. This time I'm taking the embossing folder that has leaves on it and I'm using it directly on the white top folding card base. And these pieces here will just sit on top. 
Now the angel of peace that I cut out using the scalloped rectangle garden die set earlier needs to have a map, but I didn't want it to be too large. So I measured this out and it was two and a quarter by three and five eighths, I believe. So I cut a piece of pink glitter paper to be a quarter of an inch bigger than that and I glued everything down. Again here to make this level, I cut out some pink rectangle pieces to add to the top and the bottom of the back side. And I'm gonna glue this down. And then just like I did for the other cards, I added some clear wink Estella to the wings. And then I cut out some pink and white twine and made a bow for the bottom left corner. And then I added some tiny white pearls for all four corners and this finishes off card number three and here are all three cards again i think these angels are just adorable these cards could be given for encouragement or support or as christmas cards in non-traditional colors let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below if you like this video please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber Check out the links to the products I used today, also in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.